In this video, we share the Vegan Chef's best patty pan summer squash casserole recipes. Three of them to be precise. Squash is a delicious summer vegetable and we will show you how to prepare the perfect squash casserole recipe with it. Two of the recipes have vegan and vegetarian alternatives. The last one is only for vegetarians. Sorry, vegans. We will use olive oil, parmesan cheese, and fresh herbs to prepare a del delicious summer squash casserole. So preheat that large skillet and let's get cooking. One particularly uncommon type of summer vegetable is patty pan squash. It has a scalloped edges, it is small and flat and looks like a flying saucer. It is best when picked fresh and comes in white, yellow and green varieties. I'm positive you'll find whatever you want in this recipe, from straightforward roasted squash to an upscale vegetarian casserole dish. These three patty pan squash dishes are a great way to start if you have never tried squash for the first time. Let's kick off with roasted patty pan squash. Patty pan squash is a small spherical summer month squash with a delicate flavor. A simple roast will enhance summer squash flavor in a delicious way. They come out of the oven, sprinkle red pepper flakes to add that spicy taste. Roasted squash is perfect as a main dish or as a classic southern side dish. Patty pan squash tastes and feels very much like summer squash or zucchini found at all farmers markets. It can be roasted whole, chopped into cubes or squash slices like in this vegan recipe. You can make this yellow squash casserole recipe 100% vegan by choosing only vegan ingredients. We appreciate how simple it is to bake in the oven and also the fact that it doesn't even require peeling. Top scientists finally reveal the reason why you are struggling to lose weight. Make sure to look for the Icaria Lean Belly Juice link in the description. If you buy the product through our link, we get a small commission that way you can support our work in this channel. L now let's see the ingredients. The main ingredient is yellow, white or green squash of course. You will also need fresh herbs oil, made with fresh parsley, basil, dill, lemon juice and salt. Another must have ingredient is garlic. Garlic is an essential ingredient in every vegan casserole. You will also need cooking olive oil. Olive oil gives any recipe that extra special taste. Now for the non-vegan variation you will need parmesan cheese. This quick meal takes no time to prepare. The squash doesn't need peeling, only wash, then chop or slice. Roast the patty pan until it's crisp, then season with herb oil, salt and pepper. Now if you want to prepare the non-vegan variation, also add parmesan cheese on top and broil the roasted squash until the cheese is bubbling and browned. The next recipe in our list is sauteed patty pan squash vegan casserole. You might not find yellow squash at your local grocery store, but if you routinely visit farmers markets, you have probably seen patty pan squash lately. This sauteed patty pan squash recipe is my favorite summer squash casserole. This dish only requires a few flavorful ingredients but takes less than 20 minutes to prepare. For this dish you will need fresh squash, garlic, olive oil, salt, red pepper flakes, lemon zest and optionally parmesan cheese for the non-vegan option. 
Now let's see the preparation steps. You can choose the way to cut up the squash. Usually I cut up the squash in pieces after cutting them crosswise. Then in a large skillet warm the olive oil. After adding the squash add the garlic. Cook for 10 to 12 minutes or until the squash is soft and gently browned. A few minutes into cooking Season the squash with red pepper flakes, salt, and lemon zest. For the non-vegan option, add parmesan before turning off the heat. You're done. Serve this with green beans and garden fresh veggies salad for a complete healthy meal. Our terry recipe is quite popular, especially among the younger crowd. It is our squash succhini vegetarian pizza. Now let's go for the pizza ingredients. If you want the option of printing these recipes or prefer to read the article, look for the link in the description. Later in the video we also share the pesto ingredients and preparation. Now let's go on to the pizza preparation. Set the oven temperature to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Stretch out the pizza onto a 14 inch pizza pan then par bake the dough for about 3 minutes. Put the patty pan squash in a small bowl and add the minced garlic, salt and pepper. Drizzle some olive oil over the top. After taking the dough out of the oven, brush it with a little olive oil and season it with salt. Distribute the patty pan squash pieces and shred cheese evenly over the crust. Bake the crust for 12 minutes or until the edges are golden. In the meantime, combine the succhini strips with a drizzle of, of olive oil, a squeeze of lemon juice, the leaves from the one sprig of fresh thyme, and a few grains of salt and pepper, using the same large bowl as before. Okay, as promised before, let's now do the pesto recipe. You can optionally check our websites for the pesto ingredients and preparation, link in the description. Now let's check what you will need for the pesto. Once you have all the ingredients, come back to the video. Top scientists finally revealed the reason why you are struggling to lose weight. Make sure to look for the Icaria Lean Belly Juice link in the description. If you buy the product through our link, we get a small commission that way you can support our work in this channel. Now let's fix the pesto. Using a small food chopper, mist the pumpkin seeds garlic, salt, and pepper, and pulse until you get a uniform mix. Add the lemon juice, basil, and pulse again. Drizzle in the olive oil and run the chopper one last time. Now go on and fix one of these delicious recipes. Enjoy! Thanks for watching!